I have an update on the toy electric motor video that I made a few months ago. I mentioned a second toy motor built by my grandfather around 1960 that had been lost. A few weeks ago I was fortunate to find this old toy and I was able to get it working again. The motor is built in the manner of a simple steam engine with electrical coils in place of the steam cylinder. There are two hand-wound coils of copper wire with an iron piston running down the center of the coils. The coils are alternately energized, producing the in and out action of the piston. The piston rod is attached to a round wheel that serves as a crank for the crankshaft and flywheel. The flywheel is a three and a half inch disc of plywood with brass weights inserted. The crankshaft is a brass rod held in place by two small nylon blocks. The mechanism that switches the coils on and off is made from pieces of spring metal held together by several layers of insulating material. Perhaps the switches were salvaged from an old telephone or something similar. Anyway, the switches slide on an offset circular cam that rotates with the crankshaft. When the high point of the cam pushes on the switch arm, the circuit is closed and one coil is energized, attracting the iron piston. When the crankshaft rotates 180 degrees, the other coil is energized and pulls the piston in the opposite direction. The motor runs on 12 volts DC. It runs very smoothly. In repairing the motor, I only added a wooden block to stabilize the switch assembly, and I protected the exposed solder connections with wire nuts. I have added a link to the other toy motor video in the comments. I'm glad that I now have both toy motors that my grandfather built for me and my brother.